Hey guys, it's Taste Pink. Welcome back to the channel. And I miss sitting in front of the camera talking to you guys. So it feels really good to just vibe with you all. And I thought I would come back and do something super special. So I'm back with this crochet braid protective style because girl, this is a look. And I know you guys love when I wear the long, luxurious, curly styles. So what better style than this gorgeous ombre? It's perfect for the fall season. And because the temperatures are getting a little bit cooler, if you have tight type 4C natural hair, then you know it's so important to maximize and intensify your moisture routine. And I like to take extra precautions so that I can retain my length. My hair looks super healthy. This is the healthiest it's been and it's because I use quality premium hair care products. And you don't have to break the bank in order to use premium products. A lot of the products that I'll be using in today's video are from thrivemarket.com, which is a membership based online store and it has a wide array of hair care products for us, yes. Some of the very main brands that you find in the beauty supply store, they have. And I'm happy to say that a lot of the items that I will feature are just under $10. I do have a few splurges, you guys will see. And if you're interested in Thrive, market you can get up to $60 of free hair care by clicking the link in the description box and you can start your 30 day free trial today I researched it and they have some of the best price points available thrive market is bay so let's get into it Prior to eating my first meal, I like to take the pomegranate super collagen C liquid supplement and I usually take it with cranberry juice or coconut water. You can take this alone, but it just requires one tablespoon and that's packed with 4,000 milligrams of collagen along with 50 milligrams of vitamin C. This is said to help with the hair, skin and nails. And I really want to see if this will help make my hair thicker. My hair is already super thick, but I'm going to keep you guys updated. And of course, I wanted to show you guys how my hair is doing now. This is how it looks when it's been stretched and lightly blow dried. And today we're going to be doing illusion crochet braids because I can't be bothered with too much work. So right around the area of my ears, I'm going to use my fingers to create a very jagged, not at all perfect part. This is actually preferred for the illusion crochet braid. So if you struggle with parting, girl, this is it. And for the front of my head, I just wanted to show you guys that I will be doing about 13 smaller cornrows. You can do as little as seven, whatever suits your preference. But I wanted smaller braids because I like a lot of volume towards the front of my head and you know, I'm extra. Now for the back, again, I could not be bothered with doing cornrows going all the way back. So here I'm just using a bit of beeswax and the Giovanni Wicked Texture Pomade applied near the area right next to the parting space and I'm going to use a comb to distribute that. Then I'm going to take half of the ends of the braids at the front and integrate it into this section and I'm going to braid it downward. I really like this shortcut because honestly you think you have to have this perfect braiding pattern but you don't. And oh yeah, this oil mixture, it's bomb. I'll get into it a little bit later. But I like to add an oil near the ends so that I can really pack in the moisture. I'm going to be repeating the same step on the opposite side. And again, I do want the braids to be neat and I do want to pack in the moisture because with kinkier textures, it's very hard for moisture to travel down to the end. So I'm just taking that precautionary step. Now about that oil that I was talking to you guys about, I'm going to be using vegetable glycerin, which acts as a humectant to help seal in moisture because with 4C textures, it's hard for the moisture to travel down the lengths of the hair. So this is a great way to seal it in. Next, I'm going to be using sweet almond oil, which is going to act as our base. It's packed with omega-3 fatty acids which my hair loves. You can use whatever oil you choose, but I like that with Thrive Market, they give you different size options for the oil. So if you are someone who's a minimalist, they have sizes that are perfect for you. As you guys can see, I wanted to kind of stock up because the price point is excellent. And yes, I am using aloe vera gel for this mixture because it has antifungal properties, which is great for the scalp and soothing irritation if you do have a bit of inflammation. And I'm just gonna give this a shake and if you set this in hot water, it's gonna be nice and warm. So I'm just going to be applying this with my applicator bottle directly onto the scalp in between the areas of the braids. If you do not want your scalp to itch or be 
intense you have to use this this mixture is bomb i'm going to allow the mixture to set on my scalp for about 15 minutes and then we can proceed with the style so i find that when i tuck the ends of my braids my hair does a lot better it retains the moisture a lot better than it would if they were just left loose and so i'm using the latch hook to really tuck them in and secure them in place and then i like to take a sewing needle and some thread to really make sure that they're secure and in place and I'm going to be using this crochet wig cap. It has the smaller holes, it's very flexible and it's perfect for this style to provide more accuracy. And I just love the fit of it for my larger head and this is perfect for the illusion. And I'm going to tuck the mesh band underneath the cap itself. For the style, I'm using the Free Trust Cozy Deep in the color TT27. I used about five and a half packs. I wanted a very full look. And when separating this, it's super easy. You wanna separate it about anywhere from four to seven times. Take your time separating the hair. It definitely is super soft. When crocheting the hair, you want to insert your latch hook underneath the mesh band and the net cap. And then you want to insert the hair into the hook, pull it in the reverse direction, relieve the hair, and I'm going to knot the section about five to six times. This is going to ensure that it does not unravel, it does not become undone, and if you use the appropriate size of hair, you will not have issues with it unraveling or the knots being too bulky. But the goal at the nape is to cover the mesh band as best as possible. It may look like it has gaps here, but I will go back in and fill in the section. Do not get caught up in thinking that you have to make this section at the nape super bulky and voluminous. This hair Hair does very well so you can follow the brick layering method as well as leaving about one to two finger widths between each row that you crochet you guys can see I'm very strategic when I am installing the hair believe it or not at around this point I was at about two packs of hair the hair is very 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 voluminous and it works in your favor so that you aren't installing too much hair <laughs> Now once you get near the crown, which is the widest part of the head, this is where you want to focus on covering the elastic band or the mesh band to the best of your ability so that it's not visible. Again, I'm knotting the hair anywhere from five to six times. This part is the most tedious. Honestly, for the back, you can fly through that section in 45 minutes to an hour. I love that it's that easy. And I did create my braiding pattern such that I can have the knotless method so you guys will see that I am going to demonstrate the knotless method if you need more of an in-depth tutorial definitely check out the video linked in the card section in the top right corner as well as in the description box once I'm done with the install I'm applying a lot of the Giovanni styling foam mousse and this stuff is perfect if you want to reduce volume. If you have a little bit of unruly frizz, it's perfect. I would buy this 10 times over. And I loved how silky my hair felt afterwards. And it's just gorgeous. Now I'm going back in and adding a bit more of the oil mixture to the perimeter hairline. And then I'm going to go in with my temporary hair color spray because I felt like though this is a TT27, it didn't transition from my hair color to the ombre as best as it could. So this is a great way to create an even better gradient and it makes the hairline look fuller, which I definitely love. And I'm going to apply the Giovanni Wicked Texture Pomade, which is perfect to blend the temporary hair color spray into the hairline so it looks much more natural and it's a seamless transition. And I'm gonna add a little bit of jojoba oil to the hairline and then brush it. Again, I want this style to be protective, so I'm making sure I'm sealing in the moisture at the same time when I'm using the pomade. Now as for my nighttime routine, if you guys want to see how I do the twist, click on the video in the top right corner and the nighttime routine will be linked in the description. These twists are life and I'll be wearing my e-bonnet when I go to sleep. This is the perfect remedy if you are someone who wants a nice, very tidy look when you go to bed and it doesn't move throughout the night, it's perfect. 
This gorgeous style is easily one of my favorite crochet braid protective styles of the year and it can last anywhere from two to two and a half weeks. I don't recommend much longer, but be sure to check out Thrive Market. Here's a glimpse at my shopping list and I'm coming back for that Indian healing clay for the natural hair. Start your 30 day free trial today, girl. And be sure to subscribe, join the family, it's lit. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know your thoughts. I hope to see you in the next one. Say my name.